my name is uh, Jurian Tuinman. I work in the uh, Amsterdam University Medical Center in the VIEW MC. And I'm a colorectal surgeon since six years. Of course, we do the entire range of colorectal surgery in our department, including HIPAC, IBD, all kinds of cancer, uh, simultaneous liver and colon resections, and, um, and all the stuff that comes with it. So uh, we specialize in uh, laparoscopic surgery. And uh, currently we're doing uh, research on uh, transanal TME within the color free. And we've trained more than 200 surgeons. And uh, we've also a uh, proctoring network, which uh, enables a surgeon in another center to implement the uh, TATME in a safe, good way. In, in laparoscopic surgery, it's very important that you see all the planes, uh, the embryological planes, uh, which we use to uh, dissect the uh, colon in an oncological way. And plane recognition is one of the key features of uh, laparoscopic surgery. And uh, 3D really helps to identify your planes in a better, uh, easier way. I uh, worked in 3D since the beginning and I think with the current 3D we really set up to deliver the high quality uh, images and, and high quality surgery which we want and the patients want. So in colorectal surgery we use the 30 degree system always and uh, we prefer 3D to use for all the procedures because with the new 30 degree camera there's really no limit or also no there is no disadvantage of 3d there are only advantages and uh, i think in even in gallbladder surgery you will see your planes better but also for colonic surgery right hemicolectomy left hemicolectomy it is uh, i think better but the real advantage is in is in more difficult surgery like rectal cancer surgery to see and preserve all the nerves and in the flexure mobilization uh, it really adds uh, adds benefit so the the 3d system 30 degree is used in in every procedure in our hospital of course i can operate with 2d uh, that's it's not a problem but I, the advantages of 3d are substantial and, and so uh, we regret if it's not there. 3D has the potential of uh, speeding up the learning curve. We also now use 3D in the skills lab and uh, we have very positive feedback. Especially in uh, difficult laparoscopic surgery as suturing or retopexies or intercorporeal anastomosis and of course that is helps the surgeons, uh, it helps the hospitals, but it definitely helps the patient. And uh, laparoscopic surgery is becoming more and more complex. And you know, we have the robots coming, but with the current tools, including enhanced visualization with 3D, including single port techniques, including fast learning laparoscopic surgeons with good skills, there, currently there's no real need for the robot. In general, the length of the procedure is often related to the difficulty of the case. The longer the operation takes, the more the patient suffers from the narcosis. It's not really suffering, of course, but we want the patients to be out of bed uh, the next day and we want them to uh, go home in three days and we want them to uh, go to work uh, or do everything they want as soon as possible. Current technology makes operations faster, which is good and post potentially it's, uh, it helps in the recovery of patients. So I think currently with the 3D we have become uh, faster, but most important, we, 
uh, hopefully we have become safer for the patients. Of course, in an economic way, taking 10 or 20 minutes of an operation is nice, but I think the most important way is uh, to deliver safe surgery. There are many errors that can be made during the surgery, like nerve damage, but also larger mistakes like ureter damage or we call it collateral damage. And 3D really is an extra step in this safety creation because you can see the planes a bit earlier. Perhaps you can avoid a little bleed from a small vessel. It's all the tiny details. Of course, it will be difficult to, to demonstrate that in a clinical trial, but I think uh, the better we see it, the better we do it. We have bought a 3D because of these reasons. Investing in 3D for a hospital uh, can be a difficult one. But if there's room for new uh, cameras and investment, for us it was simple because it speeds up especially inexperienced surgeons with suturing and it speeds up uh, learning uh, surgical planes and uh, potentially uh, it helps with better and safer surgery. So it was not very difficult to convince our uh, hospital management. And now uh, the Endoi 3D is really something which we were uh, waiting for and uh, it delivers the same instrument handling and the same benefit of working without a light cable. Uh, so it, it can be used in uh, small spaces, in transanal surgery and in single port surgery. So we are very glad with the current uh, 3D Endoi system. The current perception of 3D and the wide field is very uh, realistic. It's there without disturbing uh, people that are less capable of seeing 3D. Everybody can see it and enjoy it and also the scrub team uh, likes looking in 3D currently. Patients are aware of our modern technology and they read more, they're better informed. It's necessary that they can rely and, and trust their doctor and that we deliver safe surgery and we have all the modern tools we can use to do this. In colorectal surgery we use 3D because of safety. It enables plane recognition much better and for suturing it's also substantially better.